Hey everyone, it's Anna here and look, I'm out for a walk. This is my inspiration spot and I'm inspired to share something with you that is going to probably completely change your whole experience with goal setting. Um, you know, come outside, get inspired and I've been thinking about you all as I'm walking up one of my most favourite tracks. I mean, check out this view. Check that out. If that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. <laughs> so, hey, well, Yesterday, in my last episode, I was talking with you about how, look, we're coming up to the middle of the year and now is the time to look forward to what is it that we really want to create over the second half of the year. And look, I want to build on that because there's kind of a secret to goal setting that most people miss. And in fact, actually most people get this the wrong way around and it's one of the reasons why many people who set goals say, eh, it just doesn't work for me. There are a few reasons this is one of them. It was partially summed up by something that a very successful entrepreneur, um, once well, a client of mine, shared with me. And that is the sentiment, you know, the way he put it was this, you know, the problem with most people is most people don't set goals that are big enough. Now let me unpack that for you a bit because actually there's a little bit more to it. The real issue here is that when most people set goals, we set goals from where we are. We set goals by looking at our current reality and going, where do I want to go from here? Which you may think seems completely and utterly logical. That's why most people do it. And yet it's also completely and utterly limiting. Let me explain to you why. Okay, if we think about our current reality for a moment, think about your current existence, your life, all of the stuff in it that's good, that you like, that's working well, and all of the things that actually you'd like to change. Well, let's think about how all of that came about. Because here's a fundamental truth. Everything in our experience actually has come about because of the way we think and what we believe. Everything that we've done, that we haven't done, how we've shown up or not, what we've said yes to or not, everything we've created or not managed to create yet in our life is driven by the way that we think and what our beliefs are, including our beliefs about ourselves, what we're capable of, what we're not capable of, you know, all of that self-talk, right? And our beliefs about the world and how that works. All of that has shaped our current reality. So if we base our goals off our current reality, what we're doing is we are building into our goals all of the limiting thinking and all of the limiting beliefs that have kept us stuck in the stuck areas of our life up to now. Why would we want to incorporate those into our goals? And the reason that I'm sharing that with you now is after the first half of 2020 that the world has experienced, there's a lot of stuff in that that we do not want to incorporate into our goals for the second half of the year, right? So when you're thinking about what's my next step, where do I want to go from here? I'm going to invite you to actually turn that around. And instead of asking those questions, ask, this is one of my favorite questions as a coach, and it's about what's possible. And there's a number of different ways to frame it, but the one that I love is, if there were no constraints and I could do whatever it is I wanted to do and I couldn't fail, what, what is it that I would do with the second half of 2020? Ask ourselves that as a starting point and see what ideas come to mind. And that helps us to step outside of the glass box we've been living in. <laughs> to look at the lovely vista of possibilities that exists outside that. Now then, of course, what we want to do is do a little bit of analysis and ask ourselves some other questions to actually frame those answers into something that is a goal that, yes, we can achieve. But the key here is we're getting outside of our familiar. We're getting outside of our limiting beliefs. And yes, we're getting a little bit outside of our comfort zone. Might need to change the way that we show up, but if you want to improve your life and have a better second half to this game of 2020 than the first half, then that's the place to start. So here's that question for you again. If there were absolutely no constraints and I couldn't fail, what would I do? 
right? Have a think about that one. See what comes to mind. Have a play with it. Have some fun with it. Get inspired by it. And look, I'd love to hear you know, how that plays out for you. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, pop a comment in the comments box below. Share your thoughts and your experience with it. If you're listening in on this as a podcast, hop by my Facebook page. The link is in the description to this episode. Pop by there and share your thoughts, your experience. And look, if you want to dig a little bit deeper with this, reach out to me. I'll leave a link there as well for you so that you can get in touch with me if you want to dig a little bit deeper and make the next half the winning half. All right, have fun with that and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.